Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Pheasant Hill Caravan and Motor Home Park in Burneston near Beedale. So let's go and take a look around. <laughs> So we start our journey on the A1 and take Junction 51 and then we head towards Burn Easton. And this is the second visit we've done to Burn Easton. Last time we were there we stayed in the Woodman Inn in the car park and had a meal there. That was back in May. There's a link in the description to the vlog. And when we were there we spotted that there was a site being built, Pheasant Hill. And here's some shots from when we were there back in May when the site was under construction. And now we're arriving at Pheasant Hill. Hopefully all finished off now. Here we are. We were on pitch 14 and the site has 20 pitches in total. So let's just take a run round the site because the one way system and get to our pitch. Give you a quick look at the site. The site seems to be very popular and filled up as the day progressed. And here we are, pitch 14, so let's pull on the pitch and get pitched up. Let's take a quick tour of the site now. Here's the entrance, and then let's head into the site and take a look around. To become a better man, sinking in the sand, oh. There we are, all settled for the night on our pitch. Let's have a look around the rest of the site. There was some lovely flowers around the site. It made it look really pretty. The pitches had a 16 amp electrical hookup and also a water point. And there was waste and recycling just near the entrance. There was also a couple of picnic tables if you fancied going and having a picnic. There's the facilities block and you can see at the end of the facilities block there's a washing up area and again beautiful flowers outside of it it really made it look pretty there's the washing up area and again flowers around that absolutely beautiful there was a handy information board which also included the menu for the woodman inn as well as the mill bank arms along with other useful information there's a male accessible and a female toilets and shower the facilities block was very clean, tidy and modern. Let's take a quick look inside there. Just near the facilities block was a chemical disposal point, wastewater and a laundry. Just take another look around the site here now. This is the view at the top part of the site, the furthest away from the road. There's a dog walk on the site which you can get to by going through the gate and it takes you into a small woodland where you can take the dog for a walk or indeed go for a stroll yourself. Let's take a look at that now. Roxy really enjoyed a wander through the woodland. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? We then headed down through the village on our way to the Woodman Inn where we'd booked for dinner. It's not too far. There is parking there if you wanted to drive down, of course. There was a nice bee garden at the school. And here we are at the Woodman Inn, looking forward to our dinner. It was delicious last time. Is it going to be this time? There's a couple of pints in already and you can get a quick view of the pub there. Cheers. I went for the Hunter's Chicken and Rachel went for Scampi and we treat ourselves to a dessert as well. How about that? We had a nice quiet night's sleep in the camper van and the next morning I took Roxy for a walk and we headed down the village, same way as we went the night before to the Woodman Inn and past the post office and then past the school again with the nice bee garden and then past the pub where we'd had such a lovely meal the night before 
and then headed down the track just before you get to the church on the left hand side and that actually takes you around in a loop with some nice view over the fields uh, in one direction you can see across to the village the other, the other way you can see over towards Leeming and the motorway and that gives you a nice little walk around for the dog around the track when you get here if you take a left hand turn lovely little walk around this track uh, just going near the church end and you come out further down the village perfect for walking roxy just coming to the end of the track now so you just head up the track there just next to the school sign uh, just over the road you can see uh, just there and that takes you around a loop and comes out near the church fantastic for walking the dog that's obviously if you want to do it in the opposite direction i just discovered that so back at the site now and some lovely flowers out the front and now it's time for us to head on our way and we're off today to the car boot sale at Beedale because we missed it last time because the fun fair was on but it's a great excuse to have come back and just like to say Pheasant Hill absolutely immaculate site highly recommended and the owners were exceptionally friendly and really keen to make sure everyone was having a good time so now we're just driving to Beedale and that's where the car boot sales held so we just follow the roads through taking a right just before you get to Exelby and then follow the road round takes you back to the main road and then we take a turn off here and then head follow this road basically now all the way through to Beedale and when we get there there's a little car park just to the left here where we're going in and if you're lucky you can squeeze into a place so now we're at Beedale car boot sale so let's go and take a look around the car boot sales held every Saturday unless there's another event on during the season it's free to go to the car boot sale check out the information on the link in the description to check whether it's going to be on if you want to visit it and also what the fees are if you want to go and sell there there's additional parking on the high street if you can't get into one of the car parks and you need a disc for that with a time limit you can see the sort of things that interested me what sort of bargains have you managed to pick up from a car boot sale let us know in the comments so we've now finished our visit to the Beedale car boot sale and we're heading off so we'll just take you down to the A1 and leave it there What a lovely little site. You could tell it was new. Um, the toilet facilities were absolutely immaculate, um, beautiful, spotlessly clean. The site itself was very level. The pitches were quite big. There was a little sign that said it was two minutes walk to the local pub. And you know what? It was two minutes walk to the local pub. There was a little dog walk on site, which is lovely. Um, we saw the owners and had a good chat with them. What a lovely family, so nice. Um, and it's lovely to see that there is a, a local facility that's open all year, um, that's got such a nice atmosphere. Lovely, well worth it, and I would definitely go back again. Mm -hmm.